Learn how you can use Azure OpenAI, LangChain, LangGraph, Azure Speech Services, and SQL Server to build a comprehensive solution. This week on Data Exposed MVP Edition. Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman, and welcome to this episode of Data Exposed MVP Edition. Today, I'm joined by Omar. Uh, thanks so much for coming on the show. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Hi, Anna. Um, my name is Omar Cholakoglu, and I am a Microsoft Data Platform MVP from Turkey since 2020. And uh, today, it's a very special day for me because uh, I am. this is the first time I am at Data Exposed with uh, Anna Hoffman. And uh, thank you for inviting me. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a pleasure. It's very exciting to have you on the show. Uh, and can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to be talking about today? Because it's a very exciting topic, kind of converging some AI themes, some SQL themes, which we're always excited to hear about. Yes, uh, I, if everybody knows that AI is the magic word of our era. And uh, we can integrate everything with uh, AI. And I will talk about the LLM integration with uh, especially LangChain and LangGraph uh, libraries with SQL Server. And I have a real life scenario and um, we will talk the data, really talk with our mouth as with SQL Server. And uh, the SQL Server answers me, answers us in real time. So I have an amazing uh, work in here and uh, yes, I will talk AI and SQL Server. Awesome. Cool. Let's dive right in. Now, let's imagine this. You are the boss of a company. No keyboards, no mouse, no dashboard screen, just you. Talking directly to your ERP system. You ask a question and your SQL Server answers you in real time. Today, I will show you how this can be done. In this example, we are a company in a pressured vessels industry. We manufacture trailer tanks and each tank requires tires based on its size. In this scenario, we will query company orders, inventory, raw material price analysis, and cost calculation, all through natural language prompts. Here is the simulation that we imagine. After that, we will try to realize it. How much do we have the item with code Hotel Alpha Lima 0014? We have 25 pieces HAL-0014 in our inventory. How much did we buy this item last? The last price of this item is 148 US dollars. Please make a price analysis for 2024. Calculate the price change. In 2024, the lowest price is 132 US dollars and highest price is 148 US dollars, increasing ratio 12%. Especially after the power of LLMs, the agentic structures have become quite popular recently. However, there are some problems here. While chatting with an AI bot, even if it gives the same answer every time you ask it, it may give it in a different format. Since these structures generally work on offline and vectorized data, they may not be able to give you up-to-date data. Depending on the way you ask the question, it may give you wrong and irrelevant answers at this point in order for the data to come in real time and correctly. The boundaries of the structure we want from the LLMs must be clearly defined for each process, and the input and output parameters must be well defined. Here, we call the methods we define for each process tool. These tools can work alone or a tool can be used as input for another tool. Today, we will talk about this orchestration. Several powerful technologies work together and make this scenario possible. Azure OpenAI handles natural language understanding and provides accurate query processing. LangChain, a framework that enables natural language interaction with data, simplifying complex workflows. LangGraph extends LangChain by orchestrating multi-step workflows, integrating tools, APIs, and data sources seamlessly. Azure Speech Services 
convert voice commands into text and provides responses as spoken output. And SQL Server provides real-time data access and ensures up-to-date responses. In this study, I especially used the SQL Server connection in this simple way, without adding any API layer in between, to make the system easy to understand. These tools enable natural language queries and dynamic workflows. LangGraph uses tools to map user queries to specific database functions. For example, get item info summary retrieves a summary of raw material including stock levels and last purchase prices, etc. Get order info retrieves details about orders based on serial numbers. Get item info detail provides a detailed purchasing history for specific items. This architecture ensures user queries are processed accurately and dynamically routed to the right tools. For example, when I ask the system, tell me about the stock amount of this item with item code, the system understands that I want to learn about the last creation of raw material and it decides to use get item info summary and catch the item code parameter and use it with the function. When I ask the system, please tell me the lowest and highest prices of this item, the system understands that I am asking the transaction history and it decides to use get item info detail function. But how? We define it in the functions in a special format as just a prompt. Let's look at the get item info summary function. Here is a detailed explanation of what it represents. The function retrieves a constant summary of an item details from a SQL Server database. It serves as a link graph tool that connects user queries to the database, processing natural language inputs like a material code to extract meaningful data. Item code is the input parameter, the unique identifier for the item, which can be entered in a native phonetic alphabet format and must be decoded into its alphanumeric representation. And the output is a string containing a summary of the item's information, such as stock levels, item description, or other high-level details based on the store procedure's return values. The function decodes, this is a very significant point, NATO phonetic alphabet input into its corresponding alphanumeric material code. For example, the input is Hotel Alpha Lima 0148 and the decoded output is HAL 0148. This ensures flexibility allowing users to provide material codes in a voice-friendly format, which is particularly useful for speech-driven systems. Let's look at the SQL Server site and these are our store procedures. You see, they are very easy and understandable. As a LankGraph tool node, this function is part of a modular system designed to handle user intents. LankGraph identifies when the user query related to retrieving item summaries. Based on the recognized intent, this tool is invoked with the decoded material code as input. The tool's output is formatted and returned to the user as part of the conversational flow. And you can ensure that it works in real-time data. You see, we can check it on SQL Server Profiler. I know I talked so much and you want to see this study in action. And then, let's see in action. How much do we have the item with code Hotel Alpha Lima 0148? The item with code HAL 0148, Pilot Tire 385x65x R22.5 Radial, has a quantity of 20 available. How much did we buy this item last? The last purchase of the item HAL 0148 was on November 7, 2024. The quantity purchased was 28. The total price was 304 US dollars and 18 cents. Please make a price analysis for 2024 and tell me the lowest and highest prices for this item. Calculate the price change as percent. In 2024, the lowest price for the item HAL 0148 was $285.46, and the highest price was $304.18. The price change percentage is approximately 6.12%. Tell me about the sales order with serial number 6753307. The sales order with serial number 6753307 includes the following details. Item, 33 cube meter LPG transportation tank. Status, not shipped. 
Order date, December 6, 2024. Delivery date, June 15, 2025. Customer, Dynamic Gas Labs. Order reference, SS000054. Quantity, 10. Up to this point, we have seen that one tool is called and run. Now, we will see how multiple tools interact with each other. We will learn the stock and price information of the raw material required for sales order and calculate how much we need. And we will do this only with just a prompt. To produce this product, we use 22 pieces HAL0148 coded tires in each product. Please calculate how much we need for this order by calculating the order quantity and the raw material stock on hand. For the order of 10 units of the 33 cube meter LPG transportation tank, you will need 200 HAL 0148 tires, 20 per product. The stock on hand for the HAL 0148 tires is currently 20 units. Therefore, you need to purchase an additional 180 HAL 0148 tires to fulfill this order. This architecture employs a direct connection to SQL Server. Avoids the need to create and maintain additional API layers making integration straightforward. Direct connection enables intermediate query execution and up-to-date information retrieval. By querying the database in real-time, the system minimizes the risk of AI-generated hallucinated data, ensuring responses are always accurate and based on actual records. Voice commands make data more accessible, especially in Easy environments. Using the native phonetic alphabet ensures that concepts may be misunderstood due to accent or pronunciation are entered correctly. While we are using LangChain and LangGraph, this solution could also be implemented with Semantic Kernel, which uses a planner and skills architecture for similar functionality. Thanks, that was super cool. I learned so much. Honestly, I've never heard of LangGraph before and I've never worked with it before. So just seeing the whole process of like how it works, how it reforms, how you set it up was super amazing. Um, and the fact that it all just kind of works with SQL Server is, is very cool too. Um, one question I had for you as we close out, and I think a lot of people will probably have questions like this is, you know, if I'm just getting started in this space, do you have any tips or tricks or words of advice for people to be more successful sooner? Um, the LangGraph and LangChain library is very successful in this, uh, this type of works. And uh, for the integration with the AI and the uh, SQL Server data, the real life, the, the, the real time data is very important because of the hallucination. And please be careful for the hallucination and uh, define the tools and functions uh, very uh, carefully. And uh, there's nothing to care about this because the system is working uh, so good. Also, cool. I love it. That's great advice. Like, make sure you're aware of these hallucinations. Make sure you're doing whatever quality and testing checks you need. And you can tune the LangGraph tools that you have to kind of make it work better as needed. Well, Armar, thanks so much for coming on the show. Personally, I learned a ton. Super exciting example. Super cool to see the, the chat and the voice. Uh, engage as well and how you're using, you know, a slew of Azure AI plus SQL plus open source types of services. Um, for our viewers, if you like this episode, go ahead, give it a like, leave us a comment, let us know what you think and what ideas you have for how you can use these tools together. And we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed.